just ask them what they think. Because what they think already is what that literary review will say. Okay, they're going to write the review just to support the review they already hold. With a systematic review, that won't happen. A systematic review has to be a systematic summary of what the existing literature on the question says. So you have to adopt a systematic approach that's the heart of what Campbell and Cochrane do. And we've seen a big increase in the number of systematic reviews in international development. This is the original research. I did this graph this morning. So this is new research we're doing here for the first time. Um, and so this is a number of international development reviews published in the 3i database. And so we see this, this third wave of the evidence revolution coming in from sort of 2011, 2012, with a start marked increase, number of reviews per year from one in 2000 to over 100 in 2016. 